welcome to SETV Weekly News Edition, where we bring you stories that have been trending throughout the week. My name is Elizabeth Ankunda, but let's first get stories that have made headlines and the news in detail. In today's news headlines, over 400 small businesses to lose properties to financial institutions. The World Bank ranks Uganda as 12 in the ease of doing business. And in sports, Uganda's 2020 Olympians to receive cars, houses, and cash. And Dennis Onyango said for Crane's return. SETV Weekly News Edition now to start off. As a result of COVID-19 second wave lockdown, more than 400 properties of small and medium enterprises worth the billions of shillings will soon be up for sale by the financial institutions due to loans defaulting. Patrick Seremba has more on this report. Since the COVID-19 breakout in 2020, a number of businesses that had declined took more loans as a means to recover from the effects of COVID-19. As a result of the second lockdown, many businesses were further affected, thus being unable to pay their loans and banks are threatening to sell off their property instead. Banks have continuously threatened to sell off properties worth billions of shillings for those that have failed to pay their loans beyond the agreed time. This comes as many businesses are heavily indebted and have been unable to finance their loans despite the fact that the banks have restructured the payment agreements to enable them have more time to prepare to pay. Due to the COVID-19 effects on the economy, many pleading business owners are still unable to pay their loans even after deadlines have been extended, thus prompting banks to sell off their properties instead. According to financial experts, Many financial institutions are likely to sell off property of those businesses that have failed to finance their loans. They also warn that business owners should also understand the nature of the loans they take, advising them to take more long-term loans than short-term loans since they have more favorable terms of payment. Business owners have, encouraged, have been encouraged to develop strategic business models that can survive both during good and hard times so as to reduce the risk of failure of financing their loans. Patrick Seremba, reporting for SETV Business. Now Uganda has been ranked by the World Bank as the, as the 12th country in Africa where starting a business is less costly with an average cost of $163 to run small and medium-sized enterprises. Let's take, a look. Let's take a look on this report. According to the latest study by World Bank, which measures the ease of doing business in countries worldwide, Uganda has been named among the 115 economies that have implemented the proposed business regulatory reforms, ranking it as the 12th in ease of doing business in Africa. The global ranking was based on the doing business report that captures several dimensions like the regulatory environment, construction permits, access to electricity and credit, registering property, protecting minority investors, paying tax, and trading across borders. Uganda was ranked in terms of price and affordability against other East African countries like Kenya at $353 and Tanzania at $322 for one to start a business in the country. Patrick Seremba, reporting for SETV Business News. On Tuesday 10th of August 2021, some districts in the country started receiving COVID-19 vaccines a day after the National Medical Store was dispatched the jobs with Lila receiving 3,000 doses. Zona has more on this report. On Tuesday 10th August 2021, some districts in the country started receiving COVID-19 vaccines a day after the National Medical Stores dispatched the jabs with Lira receiving 3,000 doses. Lira District Health Office Officer Mr. Edmund Acheka said that they received 3,000 doses of vaccines and that the exercise will likely to resume next Monday. He also added that it is in the 
task force to determine when to start the vaccination exercise and all the doses were for the district and Lira City. The Ministry of Health received additional donations of 586,080 doses of COVID-19 vaccines last month and the jobs comprised 300,000 doses of Sinovac from the Chinese government and 286,080 doses of AstraZeneca from Global Sharing Initiative COVAX. After vaccines being received, Dr. Henry Mwebasa, the Director General of Health Services, said they have asked districts to start vaccination as soon as they receive the jabs. According to the Chief Administrative Officer, Mr. Dan Stambalaba, said that many districts in Tororo haven't received the national vaccines. He also added that all district hospitals and health centers are overwhelmed by the people who are waiting to be vaccinated. Zona reporting, SETV News. Thank you, Zona, for that report. Now, SETV Weekly News Edition is taking a very short commercial break. But when we return, we still have more stories. Just stay tuned. Since the world has become interconnected, Company content is a necessity. We provide high quality content to fit the consumer's different brands. By providing video coverage, photography, social media management, print production, web development, company branding, and many more. Reach us on our website at www.sosentmediaug.com and call us on 039-324-1411. Sosent Media, pitch your brand. Bagadeo Ngo mugeni na pabali wo ngo inokuteke nkanya no kozesa kubafu Ke kwanga saina kapito egura ndi kozese we bitu Isaac Ayan amanyaga ngeze Isaac Sabiti Welcome back from that very short commercial break. You're still moving with SETV Weekly News Edition. And thank you for always keeping it. Now the President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Yolkagutam 70 Buhabura, rewards, rewards Olympics medalists with vehicles, houses, and cash salary worthy 5 million monthly after Uganda managed to register a record performance, winning various medals in the recently concluded Olympics Games. Let's have a look on this report. On Tuesday this week, Uganda received their Olympians at Kampala Airport by officials led by the State Minister of Kampala and Tebe State for Sports, Dennis Hamson Oboa, as they returned home after a record-breaking performance, finishing in second position on the Africa continent. President Joel Kaguta Museven has rewarded each of the, th of the three Ugandan medalists at the just concluded Olympics Games in Toto, i.e. Chepteje, Chimutai and Kiprimo with a brand new vehicle and house for their parents. The president also directed for implementation of his directive to pay salaries for athletes who got medals, who got medals continental games like the Olympics. The State Minister for Sports, Dennis Hamson Oboa, who led the delegation to Tocho, said that the team made historical strides that will never fade as Uganda finished 37th overall out of 206 nations that participated. Meanwhile, Uganda's triumph in Tocho has built belief among Ugandans that there is more to come in future Olympics editions with the, with the next one set to be held in 2024 in Pele. 
Elizabeth Ankunda reporting for SETV Weekly News edition. Now in the world of sports, former Uganda Cranes captain Dennis Onyango is set for a sensational return to the national team. This was followed by his audio that circulated on social media where he called out FUFA president Moses Magogo over the administrator's statements after the later termed football played by the Chan team as shitty. Pius Chifiji has more on this report. Dennis Onyango, who is a Champions League winner and three-time calf goalkeeper, helped Uganda end a nearly four-decade absence from AFCON with a Gabon 2017 appearance. He was also named African Player of 2016 and the goalkeeper ever to win the accolade. During an interview, Onyango expressed no desire to return to the national team fold, but he retains a strong relationship with coach Mitchell, who he worked with at S. Villa and Ethiopian Sidest Gorge. The Cranes will begin their World Cup qualification campaign to Kenya on 2nd of September 2021, and that will be before hosting Mali four days later. For SETV Africa, I am Pius Chifiji. Now if we've come to the end of our weekly news edition. Thank you for moving with us from where we've started up to now. But also you can follow us on our social media handles like Instagram at SETV Africa and Facebook still at SETV Africa. Mm -hmm.